Due to the virulent nature of SARS coronavirus 2 and the fact that people do not have natural immunity against it, strict government quarantine regulations are now in effect in hospitals. The Philippine College of Surgeons is likewise promoting a set of guidelines and recommendations for hospitals nationwide. On our way to recovery phase of this pandemic caused by the coronavirus towards better normal, the different specialty societies through the Philippine College of Surgeons issued guidelines for us to consider in our emergency, urgent surgeries, likewise for the resumption of elective surgeries. These are the following. There should be no new COVID positive reported in our cluster for at least two weeks. Our institutions should have established administrative protocols related to COVID. We should have the availability to test using the polymerase chain reaction and the IgG-IgM rapid tests. Training of staff with regard to doning and doping is mandatory. The rational use of personal protective equipment or PPEs and its availability for surgery to achieve safety of our patients and healthcare workers. Also, our structural and engineering controls like separating COVID from non-COVID, our patients' flow, our isolation rooms, operating room theaters, and the negative pressure room. As airborne transmission is the salient mode of SARS coronavirus 2 diffusion, particularly in enclosed spaces, the Dagupan Doctors Villaflor Memorial Hospital has adapted to this concern by becoming the first hospital in the province of Pangasinan to implement artificial negative pressure technology, coupled with the highest standard in air scrubbing systems. This is the portable negative pressures. Main function niya is to exhaust niya yung unclean air using pre-filter, then may UV filter siya. After the UV filter is the ULPA filter. Kapag nakalapas na sa top, sa top ng stage, okay, malinis na yung air na nilalabas niya. Utilizing ultra-particle arresting filters, the DDVMH now maintains 99.9995% sanitized air quality in critically controlled areas. Through filtration and UV treatment, air is cleaned of aerosolized particles and sanitized of pathogens such as SARS coronavirus 2. A movable negative pressure machine uses ultra particle arresting filters that are able to scrub airborne particles as small as 0.1 microns. SARS coronavirus 2, which has a size of 0.125 microns, could not pass through this filter. Ultra particle arresting filters is superior to the high efficiency particle arresting filtration systems because this can only scrub particles not smaller than 0.3 microns. Due to this limitation, a high-efficiency particle arresting filtration system is ineffective to scrub aerosolized droplets that transmit a SARS coronavirus 2 payload. To ensure that the volume of sanitized air is sustained, the movable negative pressure machine at the DDVMH is set to filter all air in a controlled area 15 times per hour. So first, we look for the dimension of the room, how much air capacity of the room will be. With that in mind, we took the required air change rate needed by the room, which is, by standard, 15 air change per hour. An operating room, for example, that has a payload of 91 cubic meters of air, is sanitized and maintained by cycling into it a total of 1,380 cubic meters of scrubbed air per hour or 22 cubic meters of air per minute. This volume of air is custom set and monitored through the machine's digital controller. To ensure that aerosolized contaminants do not leak out to rooms, hallways, and areas adjacent to a controlled area, a negative pressure differential 
of minus 2.5 Pascal is maintained within the controlled space. This causes air from the outside to vacuum into the room and never leak out during inward and outward transit of patient and hospital personnel. An anteroom serves as a buffer to ensure that positive external air pressure does not neutralize the artificial vacuum of the controlled area. The threat posed by today's airborne epidemic requires hospitals and other medical institutions to upgrade its quarantine capabilities. It is only through behavioral adaptation and implementation of requisite countermeasures that a defense against current and future epidemics may be trusted to ensure safety. This is for patient safety, quality surgery, and healthcare workers' safety in the hospital environment towards the new normal. The Dagupan Doctors Villa Flor Memorial Hospital is mindful of this. Thus, in times like this, it is quick to embrace the need for innovation and the initiative to lead the way.